Hello there, ladies and gents, and welcome to the next update. We are on update 420. <laughs> I bet you didn't notice that, did you? Let's go ahead and pull up the thumbnail for Survive the Night here. As you can see right on the screen, we got Lord Vecna. Look at that man from Stranger Things. That just dropped this morning, by the way, like right at 2 a.m. for me, it just dropped. Stranger Things, yeah. We got five new gravestones, three new perks, two new daily tasks, two new gear skins, a new hidden perk, a new slasher skin, a new lamp, and more, of course, just like every single update on survived in eight here okay so we have a bunch to cover here but let's go ahead and look at the store really quick so if we go to the merch is featured section we got four new gravestones just sitting right here and they all look me me to me the looter bundle is insane. Is this actually a gravestone? Speaking of the lady, you guys gotta buy this gravestone and you have to use it. We have the little JMT avatar down there looking up at the lady. Um, I did get sent a picture of what this was from. So, um, fuck you guys. <laughs> All jokes aside, this is amazing. This is very dope. We're gonna be using this from now on. Best gravestone out there, guys. You can't beat it. From our perspective, it looks like JMT is looking up at Lady. But what's actually happening is JMT's actually looking around at the Lady here. <laughs> Get that motherfucker some help. Get that motherfucker some help. Do you hear me? When Scrap Shield gets nerfed, this is the two soy jacks, the two soy jacks, however you say it, it's from that meme. Then we have the commander choke. Can the commander choke me next? Get that to some milto here. We're on a different energy today. This is very weird. And then finally, the looter bundle is insane. Y'all turn this into a meme. And now look at it's in the meme section for gravestones. If we go to the merch's surplus, we do have a new gear here called the merch's medipack. Increased health. Heal yourself and nearby survivors a small amount of health. So this, of course, is going to be a first aid gear, but a reskin of it. Yeah, look at this. The bubble shield. So this is the perk for the Merch's Medipack. You get increased health. And now that gear will also deploy a temporary bubble shield to deflect melee attacks. Interesting. So I'm guessing this actually creates like some type of bubble around your character. Shock. Inside of Ayla's collection as well, we have Ayla's Medigel, which I'm guessing this is going to be a first aid reskin as well. And it is. Okay, so we got Ayla's Medigel. And the perk for it is called Overcharge. Increased health. Now that gear will grant a speed boost when used at full health and then briefly slowing your movement when it ends. So this is going to be using like a first aid gear, as you can see here, but then pairing it with like a stim that doesn't deplete your health at all. You're actually getting increased health. The only downside, though, is that you're just going to have slow movement at at the end. And then if we scroll all the way down to Ayla's collection, we do have the Arachne plushie. This is a new lamp in the game. Inside of the featured section, we have... Oh my god, no way they added the clock. <laughs> We have Zekma. This is supposed to be Lord Vecna from Stranger Things, but it's looking like his cousin, Sir Velcro. Injure and immobilize a nearby survivor. This is going to be a doctor reskin. It's a commander reskin, you idiot. So here is Zekma. Let's go ahead and open up new crates so we can't get anything else inside of this update. We have patch up. This is a new perk. And then that is it for new crates. So the only thing that's really point related for new things is the Vecna uh, slasher and then that patch up perk. And the patch up perk, you get increased health and now your lamp will increase your max health while briefly slowing your movement. Briefly slowing your movement. So I think you can use the patch up perk to go ahead and keep increasing your max health and then you just gotta have a short duration of you having your movement slowed a little bit unless the briefly is gonna be permanent, which I highly doubt it. This is literally going to be 
using Merch's Potion. This is literally going to be the Merch's Potion, but instead of using that combo in gear, you have it in one perk. Is that what that is? That is interesting. Okay. And the last thing for this update, of course, is to find the hidden perk inside of the lobby. And we have a list here by Henry, which gives you a step-by-step -step directions on how to go ahead and get all of these items. So let's start with going to the merch. We'll go to the merch and he should have a piece behind him. Rusty metal frame. All right, the next one, we'll go ahead to the question mark lamp room, which is right up here. And the piece should be right above this little plant here. Yep, right there, rusty metal board, bam. The next piece before we go outside, we will go down to the basement. So if we hit the ghost button, it'll teleport us down here. There should be one behind the ghost uh, thingy here. What even is this, dude? I don't even know what this is, but it's right in Ayla's bubble here behind, bam. And the last one that's inside should be on the right in the, the lab room. And it should be on the right side in the corner on this rusty locker. Rusty metal board. Boom. All of the other four pieces you need for this hidden perk are all outside. And they're not outside in like where the old OG spawn was. They're actually outside above where merch is at the door. So this door right here. So the first one will actually be in this cave before we book it outside. It should be on the left side here right inside of this fireplace. Rusty metal board. Shabam. The other one should be by a tree stump next to this campsite area. Shaboom. And before we go to the lookout tower, let's go to where the bunker is. The bunker is the place you have to go to complete the bunker bundle. That was also a hidden bundle inside of the game. It should be right on the back side of this bunker. Right here. And the last piece should be at the lookout tower. And that should be on our right eventually when we pass it. Here we go. Should be this way, right where Henry is going. And here's the lookout tower. This is the lookout tower that's in the background of uh, when the game is over. All the survivors spawn by that red car. And the background is this lookout tower. And it should be all the way upstairs. Right above here shabam that should be all of the pieces you need so let's go ahead and reset this part got me super confused because i recorded this section before i got super confused on this part most of you guys are going downstairs to activate the welder but this is not the correct welder as you can see if you try to activate it it doesn't work the right welder is upstairs it should be right above merch there's a new door that opened up and that should be the room where you go ahead and weld this together oh my gosh dude comments were flooding with people saying that this hidden perk was not working <laughs> because they were using the wrong welder and it should be the door right here so if we enter this room there should be a welder and there you go. That should make the scrap armor perk. And that is the hidden perk inside of the game. The scrap armor perk gives you increased health. And periodically, you will parry incoming melee damage while staggering the slasher. Periodically parry incoming melee damage while staggering the slasher. So it's literally like a shield, but it's on your character. Let's go ahead and pull up the changes for this update. The feature tab has been updated. The merch's feature tab has been updated. So those two have been updated this week. Normally, they, uh, it's been one or the other, but they're both here for this week's update. The municipal sewers map has been reworked. Restore doors with toolkit gear daily task amount has been decreased. Good. A lot of people were crying about that. The commander slasher ability now disables attacking until the duration ends. Very good fix for the commander. The second wind perk is now reusable with a temporary cooldown. The overshields perk now fully heals. That is for the merch's uh, shield, by the way. The scrounger perk token chance boost per fail has increased. The scrounger is the perk or the merch's metal detector. The scrap shield gear speed penalty while active has been removed. And then we got a bunch of black light changes here. The black light shield, the black light baton, 
and the blacklight lamp, all of those colors have been updated for the consistency between blacklight items. So it's supposed to let you know whether or not I think a blacklight item is being played. The consistency between all the three, I think it's kind of just to let you know that people are using a blacklight item because they're all kind of color coded now. I think that's what they're talking about. The blacklight shield gear melee deflect speed boost duration has been increased. The blacklight baton gear melee range has been slightly reduced. And those are the two big fixes for blacklight items besides the consistency between those items. So for the shield, it had an increase in the speed boost for melee deflecting. And then for the baton, it was slightly reduced for the melee range. And those are all of the changes inside of this update. So guys, that's everything inside of this update. Update 420. We're never going to see this ever again. Go ahead, hop in the game now and try to survive Sir Velcro. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. My name is JMT, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Thank you.